So uh, unfortunately, Carol, uh, we don't have any biomarker that can delineate the first line treatment in Martian cell lymphoma um, overall, but especially in extranodal Martian cell lymphoma. Um, we usually you extrapolate a uh, GELF criteria that was originally developed in follicular lymphoma that is mainly a nodal disease to extranodal Martian cell lymphoma, which is mainly uh, extranodal, involves extranodal sites or mucosa sites. So um, nevertheless, this is the, is the current criteria to decide when the patient needs therapy or not. If the patient doesn't meet the GELF criteria, these patients can be observed, except that they have localized disease and radiation therapy is uh, when patients patient present a stage one disease can be associated with long-term remissions. Similarly, if the disease affects the stomach and is associated with H. pylori, it's simply given a triple therapy for H. pylori can be the only therapy that the patient requires. Uh, however, in patients that uh, meet GELF criteria and require therapy, uh, we did um, a study, a um, multi retrospective multicenter study two years ago, and we evaluated the efficacy of bendamastin rituximab in this area, in these patients. And we observe uh, long-term permissions, even in those with progression of disease within 24 months, which is a high-risk uh, feature, similarly to follicular lymphoma. Um, so in, in my opinion, patients that require therapy uh, um, by GELF criteria currently, um, uh, bendamastin rituximab appears to be the frontline therapy associated with better outcomes.